Imagine you're out on your favorite river and you come up to this deep, slow moving hole that is just screaming big fish. You're reminded of your cousin Kenny and the fishing story that he's told the past eight Thanksgivings. You know, that one about the 23 inch brown trout that he caught in fall of 2015. I think this is your year. I think you're ready to one up him. Today, we're gonna walk you through how to set up a simple streamer rig so that you can catch that trophy trout of your own. Now, before we go over how to set up this simple streamer rig in two easy steps, we gotta talk about fly lines. Yes, there are specialized fly lines specifically made for streamer fishing. They usually have a sink tip and are great at getting those big flies down in the water column. But for the purposes of this video, we're just gonna assume that you have your standard floating fly line and you wanna chuck or swing a couple small to medium sized streamers through a deeper hole or two. How do we set up our rod to do that? Because our fly line is floating on the water surface, we want some distance between our streamer and the line so that it can sink. We'll go with the tapered leader in the seven and a half to nine foot range. Any shorter and our flies just aren't gonna sink enough. Any longer and casting, it's gonna be a complete nightmare. And because streamers are bigger flies, we'll opt for a bigger size leader, like two or three X for small to medium streamers, and zero or one X for bigger streamers. We'll attach our leader to our fly line using a loop-to-loop -loop connection or a nail knot. If you need a tutorial for that, I've got one linked in the video description. With our leader attached, we can move on to step number one, which is adding our streamer. We'll pick one out of the box and attach it using a clinch knot. I've got another tutorial for that in the description if you need it. There are more complicated knots that might give your streamer a bit better action in the water, but today we're keeping it simple, so we're going with the clinch knot. Now you can fish this streamer rig just like this. If you have a streamer with a bead head on it, that might be all you need to get that fly down deep enough and right in front of a fish. But if you need to get it down deeper, if that water's just moving way too fast, we'll move on to step number two, which is add split shot. To keep it from sliding, it's probably a good idea to grab a small six to eight inch piece of tippet and attach it to the end of your leader using a triple surgeon's knot. Tutorial in the description if you need it. Then we'll snip off the two tag ends and reattach our streamer. Next, we'll clamp on our split shot just above the knot, which is just gonna keep that split shot from sliding down to the head of your fly. Now you're ready to fish, adding or subtracting split shot as needed. Now that we know how to set up dry fly, nymph, and streamer rigs, we're ready to get our fly selection dialed in. The next masterclass video is all about flies. You are not gonna wanna miss this one. Check it out right here.